Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today I'm going to show you how to stick apps inside of newsstand and they're totally launchable they work just fine just as any normal app would inside of a folder but this cool method does not require a jailbreak and it was actually discovered by a reader on iDownload blog so props to them for figuring out this cool little trick but there's actually so many different dimensions to this trick you can put folders inside of newsstand you can put folders inside of folders and you can even make apps invisible which is another way I just figured out here not too long ago so let let me first show you how to put apps inside of newsstand. So what you want to have first here is you want to make sure newsstand is on the second page of your device. So the second home screen, swipe over the second home screen right here, and any apps you want to put into newsstand need to be on the third screen here. So newsstand on second screen, apps that you want to put into newsstand on third screen. So what you want to do here first is press the home button and immediately tap and hold on an app and your screen is going to slide over to the first home screen. Then you want to swipe back to the second screen, tap on newsstand and press the home button. It's not too complicated. It sounds a lot more complicated than it actually is. But let's go ahead and try this here real quick. I'll show you how this works. So I'm going to put iTunes inside of newsstand. So check this out. Press the home button, tap and hold and swipe over. Now when you see them go into wiggle mode like that, it's worked. Open newsstand and then press the home button and bam, you see iTunes goes right into newsstand just like that. And we can do that to as many apps as we want here. Let's try Google Maps here real quick. Just like that, open newsstand and then bam, inside of newsstand, we can do it to find my iPhone just like that and there you go. So we can put apps right inside a newsstand and they're completely launchable. You can open them up and use them and hide them away in there. And like I said, you can also put folders inside of newsstand. So let's go ahead and put this utilities folder here inside of newsstand. Do the same exact thing as you would with the apps. Press the home button, tap and hold and swipe over. And sometimes you might miss it, but once they're in wiggle mode like that, you know you've done it correctly. Tap on newsstand, press the home button, and in goes your little folder. You can also put folders inside of folders. So let's take this locked up folder and we're gonna do the same exact thing here. So once they're in wiggle mode, I'm gonna put it inside of this finance folder. Tap on there, press the home button. Bam, folder inside of a folder. But you can't open up these folders here or it will reboot the springboard. Now nothing bad is going to happen from that, but it will reset the layout of the apps and I'll show you that here, let's check it out. This springboard is now rebooting. So as you can see here, all the apps actually came out of newsstand when the springboard rebooted. Now, alternatively, you can get all the apps out of there just by rebooting your device as well. But here's something really cool that I figured out here, and I'm going to show you this here in a second. We are going to put iTunes inside of newsstand. Then we are going to hide newsstand with PassHack, and then we will have an invisible iTunes app. So let's do the same method here. Press the home button and tap and hold on iTunes. So once they're in wiggle mode like that, we'll open up newsstand here and put iTunes in there. Now, I'm going to hide newsstand using PassHack. So let's go into the Passbook here, flip over the card. All right, news. Launch this open. We will tap on install. And as you can see, it's hiding newsstand, which we can then go ahead and put into wiggle mode and delete it. Newsstand currently had speed test and iTunes inside of it. And those apps are actually nowhere to be found on my device. But if I go to spotlight and I search for iTunes here, you can see that it pulls up right there. And if we tap on it, it'll allow us to launch iTunes. Even though iTunes is completely invisible on our device, we can still launch it from Spotlight. And obviously all these will revert back once you reboot your device. That is just uh, kind of the downside of not having these tweaks available via jailbreak. So it's a pretty cool way to kind of, you know, customize your device a little more and put the apps where you want them. So go ahead and let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thanks again for watching everybody. This is Dom and have a great day.